right up here above the cemetery on the, the field edge. And uh, that's their job is to keep fire out of the church, but also that's going to be a water fill up for any UTVs or engines if you need. So as far as burning out around the church. The fields of Cades Cove are renowned for its iconic pastoral setting. Each year, the National Park Service utilizes controlled burns to reduce the encroachment of trees into the fields, help perpetuate native herbaceous species, reduce exotic plant species, and maintain the historic landscape of the cove. Without the disturbance of the controlled burns, the grasses will succeed to woody vegetation, and the fields will succumb to a forested habitat within a few decades. The prescribed burns are performed during the drier months of early fall in order to avoid impacts to wildlife and nesting birds. Controlled burning also reduces the intensity of bigger wildfires by reducing the accumulation of flammable woody debris and dead plant material on the ground. These low intensity burns help propagate fire adapted native plants to provide cover and food for a variety of wildlife. Over the last decade, the prescribed fires have changed the habitat from fescue to plant species that benefit a variety of birds, mammals, and insects. Just over the last few years, harriers and northern short-eared owls have started to winter in these burned fields due to the cover creating beneficial habitat for ground nesting birds and rodents. As time goes on, Cades Cove becomes a wilder place due to the Park Service utilizing prescribed burns as a management tool to maintain this habitat.